What's up guys and the beast from the past is back. The Samsung Galaxy Note 3 Neo is coming back generations later as the Galaxy Note 10 Neo or it might be called as Note 10 Lite. It's now confirmed via FCC. As tweeted by Max J on Twitter, the S Pen for the model number SM770F is now registered which means that this phone does exist and it's coming very soon. Now because it's rocking the Bluetooth S Pen, it will have all the features that you normally see on the Note 9 S Pen and the Note 10 family such as the air gestures and all that stuff which is pretty good. It's nice to see that Samsung is not leaving out the features for the cheaper version compared to the expensive models. Now this Galaxy Note 10 model will share the same design as the Note 10 family which means a hole punch towards the middle but an even smaller package in terms of the overall screen size and the design is concerned. Thanks to the Geekbench League, the Galaxy Note 10 Lite slash Note 10 Neo will be rocking a Exynos 9 9810 chip along with 6 gigs of RAM. That's the internals of the Galaxy Note 9 from last year. It's still a very powerful chip, certainly a much better choice over the Snapdragon 710 or any mid-range processor out there, which means that you're gonna get an affordable Note model pretty soon. So a Note phone with the Note 10 design, a S Pen with last year's specs at a very affordable price, my guess that it could be between $450 to $500. Again, I have no idea when this phone will be out and which markets will be targeted but honestly it does make sense to have a smaller or I should say cheaper version of the Galaxy Note 10 model. The actual model number is very similar to the Note 3 Neo which makes me think that Samsung should call this model as Galaxy Note 10 Neo. The Note 10 Lite doesn't make sense because the S10 Lite which confirmed earlier is rocking a Snapdragon 855 chipset weirdly enough it's got 8GB of RAM. Pretty high end internal specs I have to say so it doesn't make sense for the Note 10 Lite to have not the same specs as the S10 Lite. So this could actually be a Note 10 Neo or according to some rumors this might actually be called as Galaxy A81 which makes this the first A series phone on the market to rock S Pen. Personally I much rather prefer this device being called as Note 10 Neo because that's a flagship name and it's gonna help this device to sell better. Again that's just my two cents we'll see what Samsung will ultimately do. Like I said there is a S10 Lite coming as well. Both devices are now pretty much confirmed thanks to the FCC and the Geekbench leaks. Other stuff about this phone is unknown like the headphone jack or anything like that but the thing that's confirmed is that it is real and it is coming with a S Pen. Also also in the news, Samsung has done the impossible. We have the official public stable One UI 2.0 update currently rolling out for the S10, S10 Plus and S10e in Germany. Today is 28th November, my guess was right, Samsung has released this update much quicker than last year. Again, it will come to other markets soon. I'll definitely be doing a full review video tomorrow so make sure to subscribe for that. And lastly, the Galaxy S11 Plus, I made a video about this talking about about the new design and everything. iCineware says that there are some errors in the CAD render from all leaks and I have to say that is kind of expected. The main thing that is wrong with the render is the arrangement of the cameras according to iCineware. We can't see the 10x optical zoom implementation on the phone. It has a different lens shape compared to what this CAD render has so definitely there are some imperfections but about 90% of the design is correct. The S11 Plus is going to be a pretty big phone with a pretty big camera but it might not be as bad as you think in terms of look. The real thing will be much, much better. So hold your horses. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know your thoughts on a cheaper, affordable Galaxy Note 10 model. What do you think how this phone will go in terms of the market competition? Will you be interested in buying such device? And stay tuned for the next video. I'll see you guys soon. Peace out.